Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm Lucky Billabong. Okay. Well, Lucky, mind if I call you Lucky? Please do. Okay, so, how many species are there of coral are there in the Pacific Reefs? Oh, the Pacific Reefs got about 60 different species of coral. Okay. The Pacific Reefs are actually some of the most colorful reefs in the whole world. Wow. Well, you know there's two kinds of coral. There's the soft coral and the stony coral. And uh, the soft coral colonizes as much of the open space as it can, but then it's competing. Uh, like if you're the soft coral and I'm the stony coral, the soft coral wants the light and the stony coral wants the light and they're competing for it. Yeah. I want the light. <laughs> Clownfish live in sea anemones. And they actually come out, they pop their heads out if there's a little bit of food coming by. They come in and out of the anemone. <laughs> well, there's some small creatures like hermit crabs. On snipes. They crawl across the seafloor and they'll pick up any sort of scraps that some. Just like this. And they'll, just come. <laughs> they'll eat the scraps off the bottom of the sea. That's really good. Now, the stony corals pull calcium right out of... Ah! <laughs> uh, it's it's enough. really hot. Yeah. They pull calcium out of the water to make uh, a reef out of their own skeleton. Cheers. Cheers. So, I was just wondering, what are lunar tides caused by? Well, lunar tides are caused by the gravitational pull of the ocean from the Earth, like if this is the Earth and Mickey's hanging on for dear life, <laughs> and then there's a gravitational pull from the Moon, it's pulling the water that way. And as the Earth spins and the Moon goes around the Earth, the gravity is going back and, and the, the, the uh, water is going to go come in and come out depending on the actual uh, force of the gravitation from the Moon. Very interesting. Yeah. Thank you. So what are we going to talk about today? I'd like to talk about bacteria. Bacteria. <laughs> Little uh, chicken chuck. When you're talking about the ocean in bacteria, bacteria are single-celled organisms and they don't require oxygen. In one day after existence, compared to a human, bacteria will have moved through 48 generations. Well, a human won't have reproduced at all, obviously, in one day. The most common form of bacterial reproduction is called binary fission, where a single-celled organism splits into two identical daughter cells. The bacteria that live in the ocean can harvest sunlight. Interesting. <laughs> so now let's talk about the top ten fastest fish. Number ten! Oh, number 10 is the tarpon. Goes about 35 miles per hour. Nine. <gasps> the flying fish also goes about 35 miles an hour, can fly right over the water. Eight. The swordfish can go about 40 miles per hour. Seven. The bonefish. It can also swim about 40 miles an hour. Looks a little bit like a torpedo. Six. The blue shark. It can go about 43 miles per hour. Real skinny shark with circular eyes on either you side think of its something head. Something is watching us? That's just because I talked about the eyes on the side of the head, I imagine. Okay. Five. Ah! Oh, Bluefin tuna can go about 44 miles per hour. This one didn't get fast enough, unfortunately. <laughs> six. We know I did six. <laughs> The tummy can swim as fast as 46 miles per hour. Not tummy. It's something completely different. Tummy with an N. Three. The wahoo goes about 48 miles per hour. Not yahoo. It's, <laughs> it's wahoo, actually. Okay. Two. Ah, goes about 50 miles per hour. Nemo's father was named after this one. Marlin. Marlin. One. The fastest fish in the ocean. 
Number one, 68 miles per hour, that's about as fast as you can go down the highway with a car, is the sailfish. Okay then, so let's talk about the four largest fish in the ocean. Oh, yeah. Number four. Ah, number four, the Greenland shark grows to be about 21.2 feet long. Three. Ah, the manta ray. It looks kind of like a stingray. It doesn't have a stinger, though. It's got two little mantibles come like that. 23 feet wingspan. Yeesh. Wouldn't want to get caught by one of those. No way. But they're not dangerous. They just look scary. Got it. Two. Ah, the oarfish. 26.2 feet. Real long buggers. They look like eels with a big red fin all the way along the back. And one. Oh, one is about my favorite fish in the whole ocean. It's the whale shark. Looks like a big brown pancake with white spots all over it. Real friendly fella. Eats plankton. Now, what is the largest animal in the ocean? Oh, the largest animal. I, uh, the shrimp. Well, luckily, I had a special guest star. I interviewed him first, and he gave us that answer. Off to you, Michael. The largest animal in the ocean is a blue whale. Yep, 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 that's what I think. It's a blue whale. So, Sandy over here wants to know, how do we know how to go to the ocean? Oh, that's a good question. When baby turtles are hatched, of course, in the sand, um, they make their way back into the ocean, uh, and people were wondering why. How do they know where the ocean is, right? Well, some people say, uh, according to a 1990s study they did on loggerhead turtles, that there might be a magnetic field the Earth has, so the turtles know how to get there. Um, also, they say that they'll go towards the brightest light. So uh, they know that that's where the ocean is because it's bright, it reflects the moon, and during the daytime it reflects the sun. That's why they tell you if you live by the ocean to turn off your lights at night so the baby turtles don't end up going into the road. Well, off you go, Sandy. It's a slow turtle. Oh, so you want to know why octopus and squid are alike and why they're different? Exactly. Well, two similarities between octopus and squid are, one, the way they travel underwater, jet propulsion. They get the water from the ocean, they put it in a special sack in their body, and then they siphon it out, and it propels them across the ocean. Also, they both have beaks, believe it or not, kind of like a parrot. Got it. Um, one of the differences is the shape of the body or the mantle, as they call it. Um, they don't actually call it anything because they can't speak, but <laughs> we call it that. Uh, on an octopus, it's more of a round, bulbous shape, and a squid is more of a torpedo shape. Now, an octopus has how many legs? Eight. All right, that's how you get the octo. Well, a squid has eight legs as well, but then it's also got ten, ten, ten tentacles. <laughs> Two tentacles, which makes ten altogether. That's what I meant. Also, where they live is different. An octopus buries itself in a little dam at the bottom of the ocean. Squid, yeah, oh, they don't care. They just swim right through the open ocean all day long. Oh, Colomar is ready. Oh, come on. What about the wolffish, do you know? Oh, um, snorkel. <laughs> the uh, wolffish, the northern wolffish, is a large marine fish of the Anaricanidae family. The scientific name is Anaricus denticulatus, meaning rock turbo. The northern wolffish is a threatened species in Canada. They spend their time swimming and feeding on moving creatures. They prefer rock or muddy sea floors, but are found in all types of ocean waters. And they're found at depths of 1,300 to 3,300 feet below the surface. The northern wolffish is protected by the Species at Risk Act, S-A-R-A, Sarah. Want to know something else? I absolutely do. The wolffish have 
fangs that are see-through, like they're blue see-through, and they look like vampires, so that's probably why they're called the wolf fish. I bet. I thought they went like this. Ow! I mean, I just wanted to review all the things we talked about. You know, the ocean's got a lot of nice things. Stony corals, soft corals. When you think about the ocean, you might think about the lunar tides, right? You might think about uh, all the fast fish in the ocean. You might think about uh, all the, the big fish in the ocean. You might think about the turtles, how they make their way back to the ocean. So many things uh, to think about when you're talking about the ocean. Wolf fish and clown fish and octopus and squids. Uh, it's time for me to get back and study a little bit more about the ocean. So it's been real nice talking to you. And uh, I'll see you later. You let them know if you have any extra facts that you want them to know. See ya. Well, a few more facts that I could tell you about is that some lipsticks are made with fish scales and Turtles breathe through their rear end. Well, gotta go. Uh.